responsibility put on my shoulders by the people of Kenya as is in accordance with the Constitution of Kenya. The Deputy President uh, will deputize the President in the execution of all President's functions that are allowed by the Constitution and law. He will chair cabinet committees. Uh, he will oversee the implementation of cabinet decisions across all ministries and departments. Number four, he'll coordinate intergovernmental relations between the national government and the county government, including chairing the Intergovernmental Budget and Economic Council, commonly known as IBEC. He will be the liaison between the constitutional commissions and independent offices in matters that require intervention by the national government, including budgets, policy formulation, and implementation of their recommendations. And number six, he will coordinate the planning and supervise the implementation of development partners funded programs and projects. And he will oversee public sector reforms and any other functions as I may assign him from time to time. We have again the other very important position, and that is the position of the Prime Cabinet Secretary. And I have appointed my brother, Wycliffe Musalia Mudavadi, into that office. That office is probably the most senior office after the office of the President and Deputy President. And I have set out functions for that office. He will assist the President and Deputy President in the coordination and supervision of government ministries and state departments. In liaison with the ministry responsible for interior and national coordination, oversee the implementation of national government policies, programs, and projects. Number three, he will chair and coordinate national government legislative agenda across all ministries and state departments in consultation with and for transmission to the party coalition leadership in both National Assembly and the Senate. He will facilitate interministerial coordination of cross functional initiatives and programs. He will also coordinate number five and supervise. He will coordinate and supervise the technical monitoring and evaluation of government policies, programs, and projects across ministries. And of course, perform any other functions as I may assign him from time to time. The other appointments I have made this afternoon are appointments of ministers. The Minister for Interior and National Administration, the Honorable Professor Abraham Kidure Kendiki. The Minister for National Treasury and Planning, Professor Njuguna Ndungu, <clears throat> Public Service, Gender and Affirmative Action, the Honorable Aisha Jumwa Katana, Ministry of Defense, the Honorable Aden Bare Duale, 
Ministry of Water, Sanitation, and Irrigation, the Honorable Alice Mudoni Wahome, Minister for Foreign Affairs and Dias Foreign and Diaspora Affairs, the Honorable Alfred Mutua, Minister for Trade, Investment, and Industry, the Honorable Moses Kuria, the Minister for East African Community, Arid and Semi-Arid Lands and Regional Development, Rebecca Miano, Minister for Roads, Transport, and Public Works, the Honorable Onesmas Kipchumba Murkomen, Minister for Environment and Forestry, the Honorable Rosalinda Soipan Tuya, Minister for Lands, Housing, and Urban Development, Zakaria Mwangi Njeru, Minister for Tourism, Wildlife, and Heritage, the Honorable Penina Malonza, Minister for Agriculture, Livestock, and Livestock Development, the Honorable Franklin Medica Linturi. Minister for Health. Susan Nakumicha Wafula. Minister for Information, Communication, and Digital Economy, Mr. Eliud Owalo, Minister for Education, Ezekiel Machogu, Minister for Energy and Petroleum, Davis Chirchir, Minister for Youth Affairs, Sports and Arts, Honorable Ababu Namwamba. Minister for Cooperatives and Micro, Small and Medium Enterprise Development, Simon Chelugui. Minister for Mining, Blue Economy, and Maritime Affairs, Salim Mvuria, Minister for Labor and Social Protection, the Honorable Florence Bore. I have also made the following cabinet level appointments. Advisor, on Women's Rights Agency, Harriet Chigai. Advisor, National Security, or National Security Advisor, Monica Juma. Attorney General, Justin Bidan Muturi Njoka and Secretary to the Cabinet, Masi Wanjau. Those are the appointments I have made this afternoon. Other appointments will follow in due course on the other areas that are um, part of the team that will work with me and 
my two brothers and uh, the entire cabinet in making sure that we implement the program and the plan upon which the people of Kenya voted for us. Um, this afternoon also, I have received communication from the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Mutiambai, of his request to proceed on terminal leave uh, because of his uh, health situation. I have, after discussing with uh, Mr. Mutiambai and in consideration of his service to our nation and his health uh, situation, I have accepted that Mr. Mutiambai will proceed on terminal leave on the six months that he still has uh, of his contract. I have also received the resignation of the Director General of CID, Mr. Kinoti, and I have transmitted the same to the National Police Service to proceed with advertising uh, that position. And meanwhile, they should get somebody to act in the place of Mr. Kinoti. Uh, some consultations were going on. Uh, I wanted to confirm uh, 